Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about NAC, or N-acetylcysteine. It is a very potent antioxidant as well as an anti-inflammatory. So we're going to discuss some of the foods, the benefits of taking it, what can it affect, and some of the dosages that you can take to benefit from taking NAC. So the food sources are onions and garlic. NAC will go and convert to L-cysteine and with some sulfur containing foods, it will convert in the liver and make glutathione. Now glutathione is a very important antioxidant, right? It's one of the most potent ones that our body can produce. So the benefits are that it helps the detoxification pathways, right? improves insulin sensitivity or insulin resistance or diabetes, right? So it helps blood sugar management. Also, it's an anti-inflammatory. It affects cytokines. So things like tumor necrosis factor, interleukins, or NF-kappa B. It helps balance your immune system, right? So oftentimes we give patients glutathione for people who have autoimmune processes to help calm the inflammatory process and help calm the immune system. The other one we talked about was PCOS, and that relates to the insulin sensitivity, right? Brain, it affects dopamine centers as well as excitatory centers uh, for glutamate, right? Dopamine is basically the pleasure uh, neurotransmitter. So if you can affect dopamine, it will help with addiction, bipolar disease, depression, OCD, as well as anxiety. And there are quite a number of studies on this, how NAC can benefit patients who have OCD and the anxiety level that comes with it. Glutamate. The benefits of glutamate for some patients is that it will prevent or slow down Alzheimer's as well as Parkinson's disease over here, okay? Another thing is it helps to thin out mucus in the lungs. So if you have pneumonia, or if you have um, um, pulmonary obstructive disease, right? It can help thin the mucus and help uh, the breathing aspect of these diseases. As a matter of fact, in the uh, 1963, it was classified as a drug and they used it uh, for lung disease, right? And they still use it for acetaminophen overdose or Tylenol overdose because uh, it can significantly impact the liver. So they use NAC as a drug, basically. Now recently, they've um, had issues with the FDA and Amazon basically removed all NAC products off their site. However, it is still commercially available and can be bought through uh, nutrition stores and nutrition shops, okay? So, about dosages. When we look at NAC, you can take anywhere between 600 to 1800 milligrams a day in divided doses. It's best taken on an empty stomach. However, if you get things like nausea or loose stool, then you might want to take it after your meal. Okay. Things that will enhance NAC is things like selenium, cordyceps, and go to cola. So with these combined nutrients with NAC, you can basically help to recycle glutathione and improve your antioxidant levels and improve uh, overall health, right? Because when you have a lot of oxidation and stress to our body, what happens is tissues break down. Every cell in your body will take an oxi oxidative blow and glutathione is what that protective shield is. It helps you protect against oxidation as well as the inflammatory process. So NSC is a very important nutrient for a lot of different patients. So with respect to, let's say, COVID, and you have lung issues or breathing issues or mucus in your lungs, NAC can be of benefit for those patients um, who have a lot of lung and mucus uh, buildup within the, within the uh, lung structures, right? Um, obviously, they use things like prone uh, positioning to help release some of the mucus, but as well as NAC being utilized, it would be the added benefit, okay? 
My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.